New details tonight in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. With so many mass shootings lately, we get inside access to the Providence Police Special Response Unit to see how officers train to prevent a worst case scenario. New at 11, never before seen video of this specialized police force in action. We also wire up one of their members for a hair raising point of view as they rappel down the side of a building. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now with what he's uncovered from his exclusive access. Members of the SRU don't get paid extra to be part of the team. It's a volunteer unit with rigorous standards to even be considered for the job. Don't call them the SWAT team. Cut. One round standing. Their name has changed and so has their training. Make the shots count. Make them count. Target 12 was given inside access to how the Providence Police Special Response Unit, or SRU, load and make ready prepares for the worst case scenarios. Two rounds left side of barricade. Including an active shooter situation. Next group. These guys are pros. We rely on them heavily in the Providence Police Department and we're proud of what they do and how, how well they trained. Stand by. Members of the unit will also train people at government offices, schools, or private businesses in how to prepare for and react to an active shooter. These pictures show the SRU training at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. With active shooters, they train all officers, not just on the SRU, to get in and engage. There's no teaming up outside. There's no waiting. The officers, they go in and they go towards the threat. The 30-member elite group is all volunteer. Police brass make sure they have a handful of members working in their regular positions, like in patrol, at all times, so their response time can be quick. You're training your guys, your men and women, to be a magnet to the active shooter. Yes. Bang that window again! They are trained to deal with hostage situations and are used in risky scenarios like this one. This is Providence Police video of the SRU moving in on a suspected drug house in 2014. This raid marked the end of a long-running and successful narcotic sting by detectives. They train for almost any situation, including rappelling down the side of a building. There you go. We wired up SRU lead member Sergeant Robert Bohm to give you the perspective of what it looks like to step over the edge. This maneuver, though rare, would be used to enter through a window to assess or neutralize a crisis. And that's the job of a police officer. And in Providence, that's how we train. It, it, you, you took an oath, and that oath was to protect the public. And if that means you have to get into the line of fire to protect the public, then that's what you'll do. It's not easy getting on the SRU. In fact, I'm told each active member gets a say on whether a candidate makes the cut or not. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Tonight, the Target 12 investigators bring you exclusive access to an elite group of officers from the Providence Police Department. Shoot is ready. Threat! In an active shooter situation, these are the people who could save your life. With so many mass shootings in recent years, we reached out to police to see how they train to prevent casualties in a worst case scenario. And we've learned this specialized unit has changed dramatically over the years. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now with what he's uncovered from his exclusive access. In the three decades since its inception, the 30-member Providence Police Special Response Unit, or SRU, has had to evolve. And tragedy has been the catalyst. The Providence Police Shooting Range and Training Ground for their Special Response Unit is buried deep in the woods of Situate. Stand by. And for good reason. Cut. One round standing. I really respect what they do. Load and make ready. Make the shots count. Make them count. Stand by. There are no weekends. There are no holidays. They drop everything. Next group. They drop things going on in their family lives. Two rounds left side of barricade. It's in their personal lives. 
Providence Police Colonel Hugh Clements gave Target 12 inside access to the SRU. We wired up two members with cameras to get their perspective on how they train. On this day, the team was qualifying. Accuracy under pressure. This exercise, they practice shooting with one arm in case the other is injured. Primary hand only, stepping to your left. Cut. One scenario that weighs heavily on their minds, responding to an active shooter. No, none of us ever want that call, and we're hoping it never comes. Sergeant Robert Bohm runs the SRU. He says the term active shooter didn't exist when he started on the team in 1990. <laughs> and training has changed dramatically in recent years. And it's not just with the SRU. Our department is trained with active shooters, right down to the uh, newest patrol people. For active shooter situations, the first officers on the scene no longer wait for the SRU to arrive. Your active shooters now, uh, the per percentage is high that they do the shooting, get what they want, and then commit suicide when they run out, you know, they're getting low on ammo or the police show up. So it's important that the police make their presence known immediately. The SRU is made up of volunteers. They work other jobs within the department like patrol and detectives. Police brass try to make sure a handful of SRU members are on the schedule around the clock. There may be three or four people out of the 20 people on call at that moment in the Providence Police who are SRU trained. It's not a bunch of guys who are getting paid extra for this. They're here because they want to be here. They're here because they do care. And these, uh, the members here, are, are the elite members on our department. Our exclusive access continues tomorrow night. Only Target 12 has video of the SRU in action, and we wire up a member of the team as they rappel down the side of a building in Providence. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.